Good day, Davo de Oro. Good day, TV School of Viewers, especially to all grade 8 students who are watching right now. I am your TV presenter, Teacher Steven Chigal Montejo Plaza from Monte Vista National High School, Monte Vista District. We are here, happy to serve you in bringing you with fun and exciting lessons in Science Grade 8. Before we start, please prepare your pens, record notebooks, and your self-learning modules. You can also have your snacks with you as we go through our discussion. Now, are you ready for today's lesson? Well, that's good! Since we are done with our quarter three topics, we can now proceed to the first topic that we will have in quarter four. Before I introduce to you our new topic, let us have a trivia time! Are you excited? Great! I am happy that you are excited. Let's start! Don't you know, when you burp, you release extra air that you swallow if you eat fast or drink carbonated drinks, like soft drinks? Ah! Now you know! Don't you know, the muscles in your esophagus act like a giant wave. That is what moves food or drinks down to your stomach. This wave action is called peristalsis. Wow! That's cool, right? Don't you know, your body can move your food through the digestive system even while you are standing on your head, just like this. It is not connected to gravity because it works with muscles. Awesome, right? Not this time, Mr. Gravity! That was fun, wasn't it? I hope you enjoyed our trivia game. Now let's proceed. There are hints about our topic during the trivia game. Based on the hints, what do you think would be our lesson for today? Hmm. Come, join me and let's enjoy the world full of signs. Today, we will discuss about the digestive system. This is our first topic in quarter four lessons. Before we became amazed in discovering the wonders of our new lesson, let us first look at our objectives for today. Let's say it together. At the end of this session, you will be able to describe the parts and functions of the digestive system. Explain ingestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. And lastly, discuss nutrient deficiency, common digestive diseases, and ways to prevent such diseases. Are you now ready to learn more about our topic? Awesome! For now, let us check your knowledge about the digestive system by answering these pretest questions that you can find on your module on page 1. Let us try. Directions Choose the best answer and write this on a separate paper. Number 1. Which part of the digestive system eliminates waste in the body? A. Large intestine B. Liver C. Small intestine D. Stomach If you answer letter A, large intestine, you are right! Number 2. How do you maintain a healthy digestive system? A. Eat oily and salty foods. B. Sleep late and wake up early. C. Drink lots of water and get enough sleep. D. Eat sweets a lot like cakes and chocolates. 
The correct answer is letter C. Drink lots of water and get enough sleep. Number 3. What part of the digestive system secretes bile? A. Gallbladder B. Liver C. Small intestine D. Stomach If you answer letter B, liver, you are correct. Number 4. What type of digestion happens when the food is chewed and broken down into smaller pieces for easier breakdown? A. Chemical digestion B. Mechanical digestion C. Simple digestion Letter D. Typical digestion If you answer letter B, mechanical digestion, you got it right! Let's proceed to the last question. Number 5. Which of these speeds up chemical reaction? A. Enzymes B. Nutrients C. Proteins D. Water If you answer letter A, enzymes, you get the correct answer! Who got the perfect score? That's great! Who got wrong answers? No worries, you can still improve while we are discussing our topic. Now, let us explore and discover the amazing world of science through the discussion of the digestive system. Watch and listen attentively. To start our discussion with the digestive system, let us be informed first about the declaration of our president, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, about making the second week of March as the Philippine Digestive Health Week, which you can see on your screen. The main purpose of this declaration is to inform that it is vital to educate, have enough resources and promote awareness to the public to manage various diseases and other related conditions to digestive health. Now, let us learn in detail various processes happening in our body, specifically in our digestive system, and the different organs involved. Food is life. We often hear the line, food is life, when we talk about food. So why do we really need food? Is it really essential to sustain life? When you are eating, have you wondered how food is digested in your body? Also, how are the nutrients transported all over the body? In this discussion, we are going to discover how amazing the digestive system is and its job on the food that we eat. Organisms such as human need food to survive. It fuels and gives organism the energy to enable to carry out the different activities in a day. Since the cells in our body needed energy, growth, and repair, food or raw materials must be broken down for the cells to use it. The food can be used once it is processed by the group of organs that are working together, known as the digestive system. The digestive system is responsible in digesting the foods that we eat in a process known as digestion. There are two ways in breaking down food. These are mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. Mechanical digestion is when food is broken down into smaller pieces through chewing, grinding, squeezing, and tearing. On the other hand, chemical digestion is when the food is broken down with the help of chemicals and other substances that liquefies. The digestive system is also composed of two groups. 
first group makes up the gastrointestinal tract which includes the mouth, esophagus, stomach, and intestine. The other group is composed of pancreas, liver, gallbladder, and salivary glands that stores, release, and makes up chemicals that aids the further breakdown of food. Organisms classify their digestion through their digestive system. Mostly, all animals have tube-like digestive system in which one end of the tube serves as a mouth while the other end serves as the anus. Complete digestion takes place when food enters the mouth, passes a long tube, and then exits in the anus, while incomplete digestion is when there is only one opening in the digestive system in which this opening as the mouth and the anus of the organisms. For human beings, digestive system starts in the mouth where ingestion happens, when food is ingested or taken in into the mouth. This is where food is broken down into smaller pieces by chewing, tearing, and grinding the food and changing the food physically. After it has been broken down mechanically, the salivary glands now produce a chemical that will start breaking down the carbohydrates from the food. Now, from the mouth when you swallow the food, it propels down to the esophagus. But before going down totally to the esophagus, it will pass through pharynx, which is the hollow tube inside the neck, which is also known as throat. After passing through the pharynx, it will go through esophagus, a tube that creates a connection from the mouth to the stomach. It serves as passageway of food where peristalsis occurs, an involuntary movement that involves alternating wave of contraction or strong motion that moves the food swallowed from the esophagus until it reaches the stomach. Next is stomach, a bag-like organ which is responsible in grinding and mixing the food together with the digestive juices or enzymes like hydrochloric acid which is released and converts the food into a soapy substance called chyme. The stomach works for four hours then pushes the food into small intestine. After the food passed through the stomach and before going to small intestine, the liver, the largest solid internal organ of the body, secretes bile, which is the green liquid that breaks up fat into smaller droplets and serve as storage of nutrients. When bile is needed in the small intestine, it aids in the digestion of fats, but if not, it is delivered in the gallbladder. Gallbladder serves as a storage and concentration of bile. The bile is stored here until it will be needed by the small intestine for the digestion of fats. Another organ is pancreas, a small sac that is responsible in converting food to fuel the body cells. Its main function is to help digestion and is also vital in regulating blood sugar. Next is the small intestine, where chemical digestion mostly happens. It contains several digestive juices that is responsible in digesting the proteins into amino acids and some digest carbohydrates into simple sugars. This is where absorption of nutrients from the food will be absorbed by the bloodstream which allows circulatory system to take its responsibility in circulating and delivering the nutrients throughout our body. Then, assimilation happens wherein the nutrients are delivered by the bloodstream reach the cells to provide them energy for growth and for repairs. Next is large intestine, where it gets useful liquids 
from the undigested food. This is where dehydration and compaction of the indigestible materials happen. This time, excretion will occur, where these indigestible materials called feces will solidify and will pass through the rectum and exits through the anus. Reabsorption of water and salt also takes place in the digestive system. Look at the parts of the digestive system in the figure. The entire tour in the digestive system takes 20 hours for a food to complete. This means that the process is so long to provide the needed substances by the body. However, are we aware of the things that we can get from the food that we eat? Does it give us enough nutrients that are needed by our body? What will happen if the food taken in is not giving enough nutrients? Body without enough nutrients experiences nutrient deficiency. Nutrient deficiency or nutritional deficiency happens when our body does not receive or absorb necessary amount of nutrients from the food that we eat. This deficiency can lead to a variety of health problems. Last 2015, according to the National Nutritional Survey, persistent problems or nutrient deficiencies afflict Filipinos. Here are the common nutrient deficiency diseases. First is iron deficiency. This happens when there is insufficient iron in the body. It is also called anemia. When this happens, the body cannot produce enough red blood cells that enable to carry oxygen to the body that leads you to feel tired and experience shortness of breath. Next is zinc deficiency. This occurs when the body does not receive adequate amount of zinc to sustain its function. This deficiency leads to appetite loss and pure immune system. Lastly, iodine deficiency. This happens when the body does not have accurate amount of iodine. This may result into metabolic problems such as goiter. Now, let's proceed to some common digestive diseases. Digestive diseases happens when we have taken in foods that are not good for our gastrointestinal tract which create an upset in our stomach such as constipation, diarrhea, peptic ulcers, and colon cancer. As the old saying says, prevention is better than cure. There are ways on how we can prevent such digestive diseases like drinking a lot of water, Maintain a healthy diet, eat mindfully, exercise regularly, and stay away from bad habits. This reminds us that the healthier digestive system means the healthier you and preventing such diseases is better than curing it. Simple ways create a great impact on our body that make us live our lives better. Good job, learners! We are done with our first lesson discussion in Quarter 4, Module 1, The Digestive System. Let's check if we have achieved our objectives today. We are able to describe the parts and functions of the digestive system. We are also able to explain ingestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. Lastly, we were able to discuss nutrient deficiency, common digestive diseases, and ways to prevent such diseases. Wow! We achieved our objectives! Now, please answer your Activity 1A, 1B, and Activity 2 on pages 10 to 12. Also, do not forget to take the assessment on pages 14 to 16. That's all for today, Grade 8 learners. We are finally done with our discussion. I hope that you were able to acquire knowledge about the concepts on the digestive system. 
Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next session to TV Escuela. Again, I am Teacher Steven Shigal Montejo Plaza from Monte Vista National High School, Monte Vista District, saying, Dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!